smells some cigar smokes around here somewhere. Mm. Hey, I recognize that blend. There's only one blend like that. That that's Cool Cats. <laughs> what Cool Cat? <laughs> Hi, little baby. <laughs> Back from your vacation, huh? Oh, yeah, back from vacation. I was down in Mexico. Oh, oh my, oh, was it Dr. great Fresco. down there. Oh, it's so great to get you, have you back. Oh, it's great to be back. You know, I spent all that time looking around for you-know-who, and I didn't find her any place. No place. Well, you know who's been here since you've been gone? All this time you've been gone? You know who's been here? My brother-in-law. No. No? <laughs> La Señorita Guapa. She's been she, here she, all the she, time. You mean she hasn't been down in Mexico? No. And I spent all that time looking... Oh. No, no. Well, uh, she's been here all the time. And we'll be back right a minute in the Migos uh, when Cool Cat uh, recovers. Yo hablo, a new approach to speaking Spanish. It's fun and it's easy. I'm your host, Bill Fryer, from the Air University. And this is my friend and confidant, Senor Cool Cat, brought to life by Tom Ryan with Priscilla Delano from Mexico City as La Señorita Guapa. Okay, come on up, you recovered. Oh, uh, she's been here all that time and I was down there looking all around for it. You mean I ruined my whole vacation looking well, for that beautiful... Well, uh, well, Gato Fresco, I tell you. What? She is back. And you Am I going to see her? Oh, well, of course. <laughs> As a matter of fact, wow. even today, you're going to call her on the telephone. I'm going to call her on yep. the telephone? And you're going to be using some, some expressions uh, with a key word. A key word. Like that gorgeous. <laughs> well, it's a key word that, that uh, uh, yo estoy, I am, el está, you are, of a location. Uh -huh. yeah, you wonder how uh -huh. we're going to fit uh -huh. that into a Señorita Guapa. Well, uh, the key expression for today's lesson is the verb estar, the verb to be. Estar. We've had that before. We've mm -hmm. had, uh, mm -hmm. we've had uh, the verb ser, to be. To be. Oh, yes, yes. But today, this verb estar, to be, is used in a different way. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and let's review, first of all, that word soy that you've had. Now, you said, uh, yo soy uh, gato fresco. I am cool cat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You yo remember soy that one? gato fresco. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, el es... Mm? El es Bill. He is Bill. El es Bill. Okay. Now, let's uh, relate that to the new word we're going to use, mm -hmm. which will be, you say, yo soy el gato fresco, yo estoy aquí. I am here. Yo estoy aquí. That's right. I soy, am mm -hmm. soy, mm -hmm. I am, but now estoy, estoy, yo estoy es aquí. I'm here. Estoy aquí. Mm -hmm. It's not very hard, is it? No, no, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm doing great, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Well, gato fresco. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, él es. Él es Bill. Okay, we had that. Él es Bill. Mm -hmm. Él está, él está aquí. He is here. Él está aquí. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the key words now that we have is estoy, estoy. I am. Mm -hmm. Yo estoy, I am here, aquí. Él está, he is, let's say, allí, there. That's a new word. Él está allí. Okay, say él. 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 Él está allí. How was your Spanish down in Mexico? Oh, it was uh, great. It, well, uh, it was, well, I, uh, it wasn't exactly wonderful, but uh, I'm working at it. Well, I tell you what, uh, you know, being back here now with, uh, with Bill and with uh, La Señorita Guapa, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right down there in Mexico before you know it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Now, let's continue now with okay. that, uh, that, those keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, yo estoy aquí, I am here. Yo estoy allí, allí, I am there. Yo estoy allí. Allí, I like that, don't you? Allí, allí. Uh -huh. allí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, gato fresco está, está allá, over there. Está allá, over there. Está allá. Allá, aquí, here. Allí, there, allá, over there. Over allá, there. Allá, over there. Okay. Now a key expression, uh -huh. I would say. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está la señorita guapa? ¿Dónde está la señorita, la guapa? señorita la guapa? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está la señorita guapa? Where is Miss Good Looking? That's what I've been asking. <laughs> <laughs> ok, there's a key expression. Está. Ok. Está. La señorita guapa está allí. Over there. La señorita guapa. Guapa está allí. Allí. Mm, over there. Uh -huh. where, 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 where? <laughs> well, 
those are pretty much the, the key expressions. Mm -hmm. But I want to uh, tell you a few uh, telephone conversations. You can make a telephone call to La Señorita Guapa. Oh, you mean we're yeah. call her? No, let me, oh, wow. let me uh, give wow. you these expressions here. So we call on the phone, mm -hmm. and she answers, or and, and you say, uh, bueno? Say, bueno? Bueno? Uh, now you got to say it like that. Bueno? Bueno? Mm -hmm. Hello? Bueno? Bueno? Now, using that esta that we've had. Mm -hmm. Esta? Esta guapa in casa? Esta guapa in casa? Is Miss Good Looking in, at home? Gosh, I hope okay, so. Okay, now say that. Esta guapa in casa? Esta guapa in casa? Uh -huh. Esta guapa in casa? Esta guapa in casa? Uh -huh. okay, I don't hear anything. Well, <laughs> now, suppose she's not home. Mm -hmm. No, well, okay. no. La señorita guapa no está, no está aquí. La señorita guapa no está aquí. She's not here. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. So then you la, say... La señorita guapa no está aquí. Uh -huh. Está en la ciudad. Está en la ciudad. Uh -huh. Ella está en la ciudad. Ella está en la ciudad. En la ciudad. Ah. So there, there you have, uh, Gato Fresco, the key expression uh, estoy en está. To denote primarily today location. Okay. Location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the verb to be, the action word to be, to denote location. To mm -hmm. be. Muy bien. Oh, gato fresco. I how about that? I can't tell you how great it is to have you back on the show. Uh, you know. I can't tell you how great it is to be back, especially since you know who's here. Well, <laughs> wow. we got Gato Fresco back, uh, and we got La Señorita Guapa, oh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> the whole gang is here, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. You know, well, I thought vacation was great. <laughs> it's nothing like this. <laughs> oh! Well, stick around, amigos, for the Yo Repito part of our program. Mm -hmm. Well, amigos, are you ready for the Yo Repito part of our program? Muy bien. This is in dealing with that new word today. Estar. Estar. Hmm? I am. Yo estoy. I am here. We are first going to deal about estar, the verb to be, action word to be, to denote location, location or direction. Mm -hmm. Let's review here now. We've had I am, soy, haven't we? I am, yo soy, yo soy, okay. I am Bill, yo soy Bill. Now, I am here, yo estoy aquí. I am here, yo estoy aquí. So soy, I am, permanent state or condition or uh, characteristic, soy. Location, estoy. Estoy. He is. El es. Remember that? He's American. El es americano. El es americano. He is here. Location. El está aquí. El está aquí. Now we're getting you into another action word, but it's a word to be. And using the word to be, estar to be it has two main two main uses first location and direction which we're going to study today and the second one which we're going to study next lesson is temporary state or condition i am sick i am happy i am sad temporary state or condition in deference to ser which we already had another word to be to be which is a permanent state of condition. I'm American, I'm Bill. Do you, know, you, you see the difference? Hmm? Yo soy Bill. Yo estoy aquí. Yo estoy aquí. He is American. Él es americano. Él está en la ciudad. He's in the city. So let's go to the Yo Repito and to our cartoons and uh, join along with me, will you? Muy bien, amigos. First of all, I ask, uh, ¿Dónde está Gato Fresco? Location. ¿Dónde está Gato Fresco? Repita, amigos. Repita. ¿Dónde está Gato Fresco? Where is Cool Cat? Location. I am here. Hmm? Or here I am. Here I am. Huh? Aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Here I am. Location. Aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Repita, amigos. Muy bien. Muy bien. Aquí estoy. Are you getting the idea of uh, using that word to be, location or direction? All right. Oh, I meet uh, Mr. Fat to uh, go over a, a good expression. Where is he? Or where is it? Donde está? Where is it? Donde está? Where is he? Donde está él? Donde está él? Huh? Okay. 
Mr. Fat here asks me, where is the restaurant? Location or direction? ¿Dónde está el restaurante? ¿Dónde está el restaurante? Repita, amigos. ¿Dónde está el restaurante? Are you repeating now? Okay, there it is. Allí está. Allí está. Allí está. Remember, you gotta repeat Spanish many times. And con entusiasmo. Con entusiasmo. Okay, let's move on to our uh, cartoons here. And we'll continue to see this location or direction. Uh, I gave Mr. Fat the Señor Gordo the where did, there's a restaurant. Well, guess what happened? <laughs> where is he? Uh, where is he? Huh? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Where is he? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Now, how would you say in Spanish? Here I am. Here I am. How would you say that? Here I am. Aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Muy bien. Aquí estoy. Okay, amigos. Let's continue with our cartoons. Um, we um, are going around a town here, and we take a taxi. Hmm? And uh, I would ask the cab driver, uh, is it far? Is it far? You know, I want to know how much it's going to cost, you know. <laughs> is it far? Está lejos. Está lejos. Repeat, amigos. Está lejos. There's that word lejos. Is it far away? Está lejos. Hmm? Oh, no, señor. Oh, no, señor. Huh? Okay. Está lejos. Está lejos. Now, the opposite of far would be near. Lejos, hmm? far. Near, nearby, is cerca. Cerca. Lejos, lejos. Cerca, 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 nearby. So, we're asking uh, directions there, again in town, and the cab driver answers us, it's nearby. Está cerca, está cerca. It's nearby, está cerca. Huh? Matter of fact, he says it's so nearby that we don't even have to take a cab. So, <laughs> I say, gracias, señor. Gracias, señor. Gracias, señor. Okay, now let me challenge you. What is, it's far away. Hmm? It's far away. How would you say that? Muy bien. Está lejos. Está lejos. How about, it's nearby. Está cerca. Está cerca. Okay. Now using the verb estar to denote location or to note directions. Directions. Hmm? That we see here in a compass. It's to the north. Está al norte. Está al norte. Está al norte. How would you say it's to the south? Muy bien. Está al sur. Está al sur. How about uh, to the east? To the east. Almost looks like east there, doesn't it? Direction. Está al este. Repita, amigos. Está al este. All right. How about to the west? Está al oeste. Está al oeste. Okay. To the north, está al norte. To the south, está al sur. To the east, está al este. To the west, está al oeste. Está al oeste. Muy bien. Now, now we're going to use these expressions. We're going to use these expressions to uh, um, talk on the telephone. Hmm? Hmm? We talk on the telephone. And uh, you'll see where these expressions come in very, very usefully. Uh, I dial the phone, <laughs> dial the phone, and uh, our good friend uh, Gatita Fresca, she answers, bueno, bueno, bueno. And Cool Cat says, is Cool Kitten at home? <laughs> Isn't that something you'd say on the telephone when you first uh, speak up? ¿Está la gatita fresca en casa? ¿Está la gatita fresca en casa? ¿Está la gatita fresca en casa? Repita, amigos. All right, the thing to remember there is, hello, bueno, bueno. And is cool kitten at home? ¿Está la gatita fresca en casa? Now, how would you say uh, if you were calling uh, Miss Good Looking here, huh? 
is, uh, is guapa at home? How would you say that? Está guapa en casa? Oh, sí, qué magnífico. Está guapa en casa? Muy bien. Let's press on with our cartoons here. Hmm? Hmm? Let's press on with our cartoons. And, uh, oh, here's our good friend, uh, Señor Bajo and Señor Alto. Hmm? They're walking along. <laughs> and uh, Señor Bajo says, uh, is it far? Uh -huh. Está lejos? Está lejos? And what does Mr. Tall say, Señor Alto? No, it's nearby. It's nearby. Está cerca. Está cerca. Está cerca. Now, it's very interesting. Uh, Señor um, Bajo would say, uh, you know, for you. <laughs> you know, for you. Hmm? For you, it might be, it might be uh, nearby. For you, it might be nearby. Para, para usted, para usted uh, está cerca. Para usted está cerca. For you, it's nearby. Hmm? Para usted, uh, sí. Uh -huh. For you, yes. But para mí, no. For you, yes. Para usted, sí. Pero para mí, no. Hmm? Para mí, no. Poor old, uh, poor old uh, señor uh, uh, Bajo. Uh, that's the way it goes, with little legs. Hmm? So let's see what, let's see what is the concluding uh, answer would be, uh, para mí está lejos. For me, it's far away, far away. Now, to conclude in our Yo Repito part of our program, some vocabulario suplementario. Remember I've talked about those uh, expressions I like, que bueno, que magnífico, que fantástico, hmm? que lástima. Well, here's one that I just been saying, gave, let the cat out of the bag. And uh, Señor Cansado, in his favorite position. Que bueno, how wonderful. I like that expression. Que bueno, repeat amigos. Que bueno, how wonderful. Que bueno, que bueno. And, uh, and here's another one. Really, this expression is used so many times in so many different ways, in so many different ways. It can almost mean hello. It can mean, what's the matter? Holy smokes. Hmm? What's happening? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Can't you see that when you pass somebody um, in the street and, uh, hey, hey, what's up? Hmm? ¿Qué pasa, amigos? ¿Qué pasa? It's almost like buenos dias if you want to. Or if you get to an accident and you, something happens, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Muy bien, amigos. Well, amigos, are you ready for the Yo Hablo part of our program? Mm, time to help out Dr. <laughs> Fresco. You yeah. know what he's going to do? I do. You do? Well, I think so. What are you going to do? I'm going to call that lovely lady. <laughs> oh, wow. La señorita guapa mm -hmm, on a mm -hmm, telephone. Mm -hmm. huh? First time on Let's a telephone Let's help out Dr. Spanish. Fresco as we dial to la señorita guapa. Oh, God, I just know you just going to do oh, fantastically boy. well, Dr. I Fresco. I just can't wait. <laughs> a ver, a ver. Is she there? Hmm. Hmm. Bueno. <laughs> Uh, ¿Está guapa en casa? Sí, yo soy guapa. <laughs> ah, guapa. Habla el gato fresco. Hola, gato fresco. ¿Qué <laughs> desea? Uh, ¿Está su casa uh, cerca de aquí? ¿Dónde está usted? Ah, uh, yo estoy en la ciudad. ¿Dónde vive usted? Uh, uh, yo vivo en la avenida Juárez. Ah, yo también vivo mm. en la avenida Juárez. <laughs> uh, entonces, soy su vecino. Sí, qué bueno. <laughs> sí, qué bueno. Gato fresco, hasta uh, luego. Uh, uh, hasta la vista. Huh? <laughs> well, how'd you do? How'd you do, gato fresco? Oh, huh? marvelous, marvelous. Did, 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 was the last words that she said was, were they, hasta la vista? Uh -huh. You know what that means? See you, to, see you soon. Yeah, that, to be seen you soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, amigos, did you help out gato fresco on, in the Yo Hablo part of our program? That was fun. Huh? Muy was bien, fun. muy bien, amigos. I hasta la, to see her. la próxima lección. Adiós.